The two most talked about real estate brokerages in the industry right now are Real Brokerage and EXP Realty. Today, we're gonna break those two down. What's up guys, it's Casey McEwen back again with another video this week. And if you just so happen to stumble across this video trying to compare the differences between EXP and Real Brokerage, I'm gonna be the perfect fit for you. And to give you a little bit of a backstory here, I actually got into real estate back in 2017, not even with the intention to necessarily sell homes, but I actually wanted to get into real estate because as an investor and someone that didn't wanna work until he was 65 years old, like my mom and dad unfortunately have to do, I wanted to buy rental properties, get the passive income from those rental properties and hopefully be able to acquire properties over the next couple decades to where maybe I could retire at 50 or 55. Well, the model of rev share and stock that both EXP Realty and Real Brokerage offers you was life changing for me. Now back in 2017, when I first moved to the Dallas Fort Worth area, I actually joined EXP Realty for that very model, the rev share and stock opportunity. I knew long term it was going to be the best model for me and real estate, regardless if I did it full time or part time. But fast forward to 2020, I actually transferred from EXP Realty over to Real Brokerage. So yes, I have about three and a half years experience at EXP Realty and over two years now here at Real Brokerage. So when you're comparing both EXP Realty and Real Brokerage, there's gonna be three key elements that you wanna look at. The fee structure, which you should be looking at really any brokerage that you join, the rev share distribution, and the stock. So let's jump right into EXP Realty's fee. EXP Realty has an 80-20 split with a $16,000 cap. Now what that means is as an agent at EXP Realty, once you close a transaction, you're gonna receive 80% and EXP Realty is gonna be receiving 20%. Now that will cap at $16,000, but there are additional fees beyond that. But in order to join EXP Realty, you have to pay a $149 startup fee. And on top of that, it's an $85 a month tech fee, which turns out to be roughly a little over $1,000 a year. Now within the transaction itself with EXP Realty, you do have a $25 broker review fee and a $40 ENO fee. That $40 ENO fee will cap at about $500 per year. Now let's jump into post cap fees. Let's say that you've paid EXP Realty that $16,000 cap. EXP Realty is now gonna have a transaction fee post cap. That transaction fee is gonna be $250 per transaction. When you do cap at $5,000 though, that transaction fee goes down to $100 per transaction. Now let's see how that compares to real brokerages fee structure. Now first things first, they have a similar startup fee of $149. They do not though have a monthly fee. So for instance, if you're a new agent and you come on and it takes about four months to do a deal, you're technically not gonna be paying any transaction fee because obviously you haven't completed a transaction and you also won't be paying a monthly fee. How Real Brokerage's annual fee works is they actually take $250 out of your first two transactions for a total annual fee of $500. Now Real Brokerage actually has a lesser cap at $12,000 and they actually have a better split at 85.15, meaning again, you as the agent are collecting 85% and Real Brokerage is only collecting 15 until you cap at that $12,000 threshold. But one important difference here, and it may be big, it may be small depending on how much you produce, Real Brokerage actually does not have an e &O fee. Real Brokerage also does not have a broker review fee. So that $500 over at EXP that you'll cap out with, with your E&O is actually rolled into the split here at Real. And that broker review fee, which may only be $25 a transaction, that's certainly something that can add up even if it's a small amount. Now, the second thing that you need to consider when you're looking at EXP Realty versus Real Brokerage is the stock. And this is another reason why this type of real estate brokerage is blowing up all over the country. Now, there are a handful of different ways that you can actually acquire stock both at EXP Realty and at Real Brokerage. But again, let's hop into EXP Realty real quick and get a better understanding of how you can actually acquire stock at EXP Realty. So first things first, the easiest way for you to acquire stock at EXP Realty is just close a transaction. EXP actually grants you stock for completing your first transaction. And on top of that, you can actually opt into buying stock within your actual commission. So instead of actually paying an 80-20 split at EXP Realty, you've now gone down to a 75-25, but that 5% additional commission, you are actually buying stock purchasing it from EXP Realty and they're giving you a 10% discount. So just some quick math here for you guys. If you're doing about 300,000 in GCI, 5% of that's gonna be about $15,000 that you purchase EXP Realty stock over the course of the year. And they're gonna actually give you a discount of 10%, which is about $1,500. 
Now, when you're looking at eXp Realty and Real Brokerage, you need to be aware of the stock and whether or not it's immediately granted to you or if there's a one-year vest or a three-year vest. In this case, whenever you purchase the stock, they give you a discount and that stock is available for you immediately. Now the other alternatives with eXp Realty as far as being able to earn stock are gonna be grants, and all of those are gonna be a three-year vesting period. Now, as I mentioned before, you get stock upon your first completed transaction. Now on top of that, you actually get stock as well for capping, and you get stock when you attract an agent and they complete their first transaction. Now you may be asking, how much stock do I actually get for either capping, completing my first transaction, or bringing on an agent who completes their first transaction? eXp Realty is pretty straightforward. You're gonna get $400 in companies stock, whatever given value that stock is at that day when you cap. You're also going to get $400 every single time you attract an agent once they complete that first transaction at whatever given stock value it is that day. And again, you're going to get $200 for completing your first transaction every single year you're at eXp Realty. So really what it boils down to is about $1,000 a year in free company stock at eXp Realty. Obviously that can become more if the stock goes up and it can become less if the stock goes down. But at the end of the day, it's still a thousand dollars for doing your job at a brokerage now let's take a look at real brokerages stock opportunities and I can tell you right off the bat you're not gonna get stock when you close your first transaction like you do over at eXp Realty but what you will get similar to eXp Realty is stock grants when you cap and stock grants when you attract an agent and they complete their first transaction now one big difference here in December of 2022 real brokerage is actually giving you stock amounts like a certain amount of stock versus just a dollar amount that you go and purchase stock with and you get a certain amount based on how many dollars you're given. So for example, right now, if you were to attract an agent and they complete a transaction here at Real Brokerage, you get 125 shares. Also, if you cap, you get 250 shares. So what does that attune to right now when our stock value is at a buck 32? You're only getting $330 a year if you capped today. But again, that is 250 shares at a buck 32 here. No one really knows where stock values are gonna go, but I'm gonna make a strong assumption that our stock value is gonna continue to increase beyond $1.32. Also to give you guys a dollar amount here for attracting an agent versus eXp Realty right now, you're getting $400. You're only getting about $165 right now because it's 125 shares if you attract an agent at Real Brokerage. But again, strong assumption here being that the stock value here at 125 shares, let's say that 125 shares goes up to three or $4. Now, because you were granted 125 shares, which again requires a three-year vest, so you're not gonna immediately sell it anyways, at $3, you're looking at about 375, and at $4, you're looking at about $500. So comparatively to eXp right now, it's technically less, but you've also got to look at where the trajectory is on both of these companies' stock. Now, the big difference here is Real Brokerage's stock purchase program. Now, again, I went over eXp Realty. They give you a flat 10% discount on any stock that you purchase, as long as you put 5% towards your commission. Now, Real Brokerage is quite a bit different. They actually have a stock purchase program that they have before you cap, and an even more lucrative stock purchase program after you cap. What it's essentially doing is it's incentivizing people to close more homes, be more of a producing agent, and if you are, you're going to get more stock. Now to break that down for you, 5% of your commission, similar to eXp Realty, before you cap can be contributed to stock at Real Brokerage. Now what they will do is they're going to hold that for a year. So you'll have a year vest. And if you do hold it for that entire year, you're going to be actually bonused 15%. Now the even more lucrative opportunity is post cap, where now you can contribute 10% of your commission capping at about $15,000 and they'll bonus you 30% of that. Now to do some quick math there, you're looking at about $4,500 in company stock that real brokerage will offer you as long as you max that out. Then you can also add that to the $500 that you've got pre cap. So you're looking at about annually, you can get about $5,100 in free company stock here at real brokerage. Now, the reason why I say this is a huge difference, as the example that I gave you, $300,000 in GCI is roughly gonna give you a $1,500 bonus at eXp Realty. But if you compare that to $300,000 in GCI over at Real Brokerage, you will essentially cap out their stock purchase program. So you're looking at about $5,100 in free company stock over at Real Brokerage for doing about $300,000 in GCI. 
you would have to do over a million dollars in GCI at eXp Realty to equal that. So really, if you're doing over a million dollars in GCI at eXp Realty, then yes, it could actually make more sense of doing the 10% discount that eXp Realty has. But then again, I'd advise you to look at the two company stocks and choose which company that you think's stock value is going to be better in the long term. Because again, all of these are going to require anything from a one to three year vest. So you're not purchasing stock today with the intent to sell tomorrow. This is long term. Now to wrap up stock grants for you, I'm going to be discussing the icon program at eXp Realty and the elite program at Real Brokerage. And I can tell you, this is a huge reason that so many producing agents are coming over to both eXp and Real because you essentially do what you would be doing at any other brokerage and produce and the company will give you company stock back. So how does that work? At eXp Realty, the icon award essentially is earned when you pay the $16,000 in cap and then the $5,000 in addition in transaction fees. It's a total of $21,000. Now there are some extra caveats here where eXp is actually only gonna be giving you 8,000 and then the opportunity to earn $4,000 more by attending their two annual events. Now on top of that, in order to earn the last $4,000, you have to be able to earn it through a cultural award program at eXp Realty for a total of $16,000 after paying the company 21,000. So what is the elite award at Real Brokerage? Essentially you're paying your $12,000 cap plus another $6,000 in fees, which is a total of 18,000 and Real will immediately pay you $16,000 back. Now on top of that, similar to the cultural award over at eXp Realty, Real will offer you an additional $8,000 if you are able to hit that cultural award as well. So a total of 24,000 having only paid a total of 18 at Real. So just some quick numbers, over at eXp Realty, you're gonna be paying $21,000 with the opportunity to be given back 16. You're given back eight immediately with another eight that you can actually earn. Over at Real Brokerage, you're gonna be paying 18,000, so about $3,000 less with an immediate award of 16,000 with an opportunity to earn up to 24,000. So if you're a good producing agent and you join eXp Realty or you join Real Brokerage and are able to hit the Icon or the Elite Award at these two companies, you essentially can be working for free. At the end of the day, you're really not gonna be paying either of these companies much if you're a high producing agent. Now the last and probably one of the biggest reasons these two brokerages are being spoken about the most is revenue share. So let's take a look at eXp Realty's revenue share opportunity. But before I jump into revenue share, for the folks that don't truly understand or don't know what revenue share is, I'm gonna break it down for you. Because it's an opportunity that's popular up everywhere but I can tell you real brokerage and eXp Realty are the two companies that are doing it best so revenue share is basically stating that all revenue generated from the company can then be distributed back to its agent for revenue share so how does it work exactly? Now over at eXp Realty, they have an 80-20 split. So every single agent that caps is going to be paying $16,000 or that 20% to eXp Realty. And eXp Realty has an opportunity to pay all $16,000 back to its agents. Now, how does it do that exactly? It's a tiered system and it's seven levels deep over at eXp Realty, broken down as such. So how it's broken down at eXp Realty is the first tier is three and a half percent. 4% for tier two, two and a half, one and a half, one, two and a half, and the last tier is 5%, which totals the 20% split that you pay at eXp Realty. However, there are some difficult requirements here in order for you to actually unlock all of these tiers. So for example, if I'm at eXp Realty and I bring a good friend into the company, they are gonna be paying that 80-20 split. When they pay that 20% split, I actually get 3.5% of the 20% that they pay the company. So a total dollar amount annually that I can collect off that tier one agent over at eXp Realty is $2,800. Now, as I broke down those percentages, they also turn into dollar amounts that break down as well. The second tier pays me annually 3,200, the third tier 2,000, 1,200, 800, and the last two are significantly higher at 2,000 and 4,000. But again, guys, the big requirement here is being able to unlock the additional tiers. Obviously, everyone that you bring in, you can collect $2,800 at eXp Realty from revenue share, but you really wanna start to collect off of their growth and off of their hard work again, passive income, work that you're not necessarily doing, but you're able to collect off of. So if you don't unlock tier twos or any of the future tiers, you're only collecting off of your hard work and the agents underneath you in that first tier. In order to unlock tier two, you need five, tier three, 10, 15, 20, 25, and lastly, tier seven requires 40 agents. 
but not just 40 agents, 40 producing agents. Now, what I can tell you, having been at eXp Realty, it is very difficult to attract an agent to begin with, regardless of what brokerage you're at, but it's certainly very, very difficult to attract 40 producing agents. So if you're doing some research and you have the intention to be able to unlock those two bottom tiers, which is a significant amount of rev share at eXp Realty, make sure you're looking at the actual opportunity that you can do so, meaning how long is it gonna take me to get to that 25 agents on my front line? How difficult is it going to be to hit 40? Because I can tell you, again, three and a half years at eXp Realty, and I didn't even come close to either one of those. So how does Real Brokerage's revenue share opportunity differ from eXp Realty? I can tell you first things first, they flip the model upside down. Now again, as we discussed over at eXp Realty, a third of the revenue share or a third of the 20% they take is actually from tier six and tier seven. A majority of the agents at eXp Realty will never even touch tier six or tier seven. Now again, over at Real Brokerage, we only take a 15% cut instead of eXp actually taking 20. So we can only technically give back 12,000 versus the $16,000 cap over at eXp Realty. But by flipping the model upside down, a third of the rev share is actually obtained just on your first tier, meaning anyone and everyone that you bring in the company, you can actually, instead of collecting 2,800, you can collect up to $4,000 per agent that you bring in. Now beyond that $4,000 initial tier one, it tears down $800 for any additional tier. So really this revenue share model is giving back to the agents that you have the most direct influence in and giving you the most revenue share back to those exact agents. As you go further down your tier, you're less likely to be as close to those agents, which again, you're being paid less of the rev share. Now there is one clear difference here. Yes, real brokerage is giving you more on the first tier, but in order to unlock the second tier, you actually have to jump straight to 10 rather than jumping to five at eXp Realty. So again, the qualifications at Real Brokerage in order to unlock tier two is 10 agents, tier three is 15, tier four is 20, and the last tier, tier five at Real Brokerage requires 25 producing agents. So yes, both of these companies offer revenue share a little bit different from Real to eXp, but both of them are still great opportunities. So that's it guys, that basically breaks down the three key components when you're looking at eXp Realty or Real Brokerage. Again, you're looking at the fee structure, the stock incentives and the revenue share opportunity. Now, if you are looking at eXp Realty or Real Brokerage, I highly suggest that you look at the culture, also the additional support that you may have, maybe the technology, because there is more beyond just the rev share, stock and fee structure, but those three are gonna be the biggest deciding factors, more than likely when a realtor is looking to make a change. If you do have any questions about eXp Realty or Real Brokerage, as a reminder, I've been at both over the last five and a half years. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below or I've left my personal information such as my Instagram or my email in the description that you can reach out personally. Thanks again for all the support. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help and stay tuned for the next video.